The 88 remains were crammed in coffins as mourners, led by Omaheke Governor Pio Ganate, gave them a dignified send off at the Sombri occasion. Homefield's funeral service owner, Arin Sapata, said they were helping those who cannot afford to have a decent funeral. All what I uh, asking the community in Zimbabwe is let's stand together, whether you are black, white, or brown, let's work together in go and visit the mortuaries and see what is going on there, how our people are lying there with bodies who is like from 21, as it is now claimed 21, to, to this year. So please let's work together to see where we are leaving our loved ones. Nelson Kashinani, a senior mortuary assistant at the town, welcomed the support from the funeral home and thanked the community who attended the mass funeral. He asked family members to become responsible and not abandon their babies' remains at mortuaries. It's a challenge, and uh, you know, we have our people that were also left behind for a very long period of time. They have not really come in. Sometimes they don't know. It's, it's not that they don't want to come and bury their children. They just don't know how the process works. And if this process is not explained to them uh, thoroughly, and then that's why at times we have this. And you know, when they go back to their rural areas, it's very difficult to, to get hold of them. No telecommunications. Uh, if you can trace them through the local clinics or the health extension workers that are out there on the field, and then it just becomes difficult to get hold of them. Mm -hmm. Well, that's why the state uh, comes in and see where they can assist the best. Mm -hmm. But uh, efforts are being done to try and really get hold of the relatives before this process is initiated. He highlighted the need for a community awareness campaign in this regard. Kariya Kawari, NBC News, Hababes.